Well, guys, we just had an excellent meal. Yin's in there paying the bill right now. See a lot of mixed Westerners with Thai ladies and families, right? Children. And then you see a lot of uh, Western white skin Phrong together, right? With no Thai, but definitely a lot different vibe down here in Eastern Rayong. The beaches are long and we're at low tide right now. So you got a little bit of debris, but not much. I mean, these beaches are nice, guys. And so there's the island of Samet, go Samet Island. So Bon Pei, the city of Bon Pei, where you take the boat to go to the island, is on to the west, going towards Rayong City. And there are some other islands out here, Koh Kut, and smaller islands, another one out there. It's just a really nice area, guys. Really nice beaches, the water's nice. Sea breeze is nice. And then on down that way is May Pim Beach, which is another long stretch of beaches, right? Beautiful. You down with TTT. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? So guys, today we are in the far reaches of Rayong province, out here on the other side of Ban Pei, where you go to the island of Koh Samet. So near the border of Chantaburi. So this would be the east side of Rayong province. Very, very big province. We're just gonna make a quick stop here. No, I'm just gonna make a little merit, but it's not gonna be like a big temple day tour or anything. We just want to stop here first. And I'll uh, kind of give you some idea of the uh, geography, like the location of where we're at, right? So I'll try to overlay some of that so you kind of get an idea. Hello, everyone. It's your humble host, Triple T, Teacher Thomas Thailand, YouTube channel. Today, we are going to look at Rayong province. Specifically, we're going to compare the western region of Banchang District, where we have lived for five years now. And we're going to go travel to the eastern region in an area called Klang, Klang District, okay? Stay tuned to the video. I think you're going to find it informative. Let's watch it till the end, okay? Watch it till the end. Here we are looking at the route we took today from our home at Paiyun Beach all the way over to the Three Trees Beach Restaurant. We stop along the way right off of uh, Highway 3, Sukhumvit. We stop at a temple. That's the opening intro there. And then I told you I'd jump in with some overlay, give you maps. You can see we're only an hour and 11 minutes from Paiyun. So it's a big province. Let's check it out, guys. Let's go to Google Earth and look at it. Okay, guys, looking at the Google Earth map here, let me give you a tour of Rayong province, and we'll do this comparison video. We're going to potentially buy land next year or a home and we want to do a good price comparison between Western Rayong here in Bontang District to Eastern Rayong at Klang District, okay? So I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit here with Google Earth and show you the topography and the and the comparison that we're going to do today. So we're zooming in here. This big pier area is called Maktaput. You've probably heard that many times on the channel. Big oil and gas industrial area. And that is near our home here in Paiyun, okay? So there's Paiyun Beach right there, and we're going to take this route. We're going to go out around Mataput through Rayong City, right? And we're going to go over here to Go Samet Island. You see the island there, and there's several small islands. So we're traveling east over here to eastern Rayong in a district called Klang. Klang, okay? So the Three Trees Beach Restaurant that the opening intro of the video was at, we're looking at the islands out here, the small islands and also the big island of Koh Samet. The smaller islands don't have overnight stays. They're just eco-friendly islands, okay? So zooming in here to this beach where we're at, at the Three Tree Beach Restaurant, 
you're going to see more video from this area later and it is a beautiful beach so we are east of Bonpei, right Bonpei is the city where the large pier is where all the people go out to the island of Cozumel. Now, this is Swan Zone Beach. It's a big public area. So at the end of the video, we're going to drive you through that public beach area. This is the district called Klang, the far eastern region. It borders the next province, which is called Chantabari, which is another beautiful province. So you see all the islands. You see Klang. We're still in Rayong. We're still, still the same distance to the city center of Rayong that we would be if we purchased here in Banchan. Let's get into this video. And then we'll carry on from here. And uh, we are going to stop at another temple because it's got a beautiful sea view. So, uh, but yeah, we're seriously looking at property and stuff. When we get ready to buy, we're going to be smart about it. We, we know we want to be in Rayong. We like Rayong province. We like Banchang, but it's a, you know, I don't need to be close to Pattaya City. We rarely go. We don't need to be close to Bangkok. We I fly out maybe once a year, right? So this is on the eastern side of Rayong City. So you got all the mountains close by, the waterfalls, right? A lot of beautiful countryside, a lot of botanical resorts, glamping. I mean, high end places to stay out in the beautiful countryside near the beaches. You know, you got the Marriott, you got the Centauri, you got Novotel got all these really really nice places that don't even let you know paint get discolored i mean we're banchang like you've seen a lot of videos of beach road and stuff banchang we got hotel districts but they're all just kind of you know three star or under really out here really nice area so stay tuned guys we'll show you around eastern rayong province you know the temples are really important to my wife and of course i love architecture i was in construction as a self-employed businessman for years, so I really value the craftsmanship. So I just like to take my tours, but you can tell just by looking at this place, as soon as you arrive, we got nothing like this in Bantan. I mean, Yin loves the temples, the local temples, and she's active, as you guys know, but our temples are really small and run down, and you know what I mean? Nam Yin goes out and helps clean and stuff like that. Here, I mean, these places are kept pristine, you know, really, really nice. And this is just one of many out here in the eastern Rayong province. So, you know, if you just look around, you automatically notice like the kind of money there is for the Thai people, as well as the type of foreigners that live in these areas. It's just kind of a whole different vibe. At least three or four times a year, they'll have a big festival out here, you know, all kinds of incredible night markets. And so I enjoy that part. And uh, Nam Yen have a lot of those options out here in eastern Rayong, and instead of it being a small little temple with very limited help, I mean, these places are kept clean. Look at that temple, it's immaculate. It's clean now. And look at this project. Wood ceiling's gonna be finished, how beautiful this place is gonna be. I guarantee you they'll have big concerts, big night markets, big festivals. All right, guys, our second stop beautiful area we have been driving through some amazing country small villages but you know they still have 7-eleven uh, massage shops uh, cj's ptt gas stations so like even though we're in rural areas the roads are really good uh, i mean it's just a it's a completely different kind of an expat lifestyle out here you see a lot of farong out here uh, but you know, you don't see the bars and stuff. It doesn't have the big bar scene or the big nightlife areas, right? So typically the people, especially the Westerners or even Europeans, Scandinavians, whatever, right? All the typical Farong that, that live in Thailand, if they live in an area like this, they're really happy with just kind of retirement life. Tons of restaurants, tons of beach restaurants. I mean, we've been seeing all kinds of signs. Some of them are up on the hills with big sea views. So. I mean, we're seeing a lot of Eastern Rayong taking roads that we've never taken before. So another quick stop at the temples. Great thing about the temples, Nam Yen's gonna go make her merit. They always have nice restrooms. And like I say, everything here is just a higher quality, even when it comes to the temples. I mean, this is an amazing uh, temple complex here. Uh, it's called Swai Temple. And literally the ocean is right there. So they got some big steps that go up so you can see a long ways, beautiful sea view after you get on top of the temple steps there. So 
I mean, you can just see how well things are taken care of. So I'm gonna go use the restroom here. I'll get a little bit of footage here at the temple, not too much, just to give you an idea of the layout of the land. But we, that's why we're seriously considering we get ready to buy. Look for houses for sale over here, look for land for sale over here, and then compare it to the Ban Chang, Utapau, you know, area, because, I mean, we've been there five years and we like it, but everything's new and, like I say, that different feel, a different vibe to your lifestyle. I don't need bars, right? Restaurant slash bar. There's plenty of beach bars. There's plenty of places you can go have a nice cocktail and meet new people. And I think a lot of the Western Farongs that I would meet out here are typically more like me. You know, they're they're married and they don't they don't go to red light zones and they just you know enjoy their lives and they like going seeing you know new stuff and they support their wife and going to temples and you know they'll have a big festival out here and stuff you know concert events and you know just all kinds of stuff to keep you busy going out and doing stuff. All right, stay tuned guys. You got a white temple down here below. But here's the, uh, it's, this would be like second road. There's another road that's right on the beach. We are at a beach area called Suwanson, which means evergreen beach. Okay, I come follow you. Suwanson, hot Suwanson. All these resorts and restaurants on the other side of this road here are all beachfront, right? But there is another beach road. This is like a second road. So yeah, just a temple stop. Look at that. And then there, Nam Yen wanted to go up them steps, right? And get the sea view up top there. So you can tell, I mean, we don't have anything even remotely <laughs> close to this, you know, this well taken care of uh, in Banchan, you know? So it just gives you an idea, like everything's, I keep saying this, but of a higher quality, cleaner, much more well-maintained, a lot of money out here. We just passed the Novotel Hotel, right? A lot of big condos that just look pristine. But at the same time, the pricing as far as property and rent and stuff is not going to be more expensive than it is in Banchan. Because you have to remember, Banchan borders Chonburi province, right? And that's the big Pattaya and Siracha and Lam Chabang and, you know, all the big city stuff. So it's, there's all that influence in Banchan Rayong. Well, once you get out here in the eastern areas, there's none of that influence out here. It's just a completely different uh, expat style life. You see a lot of these saw links. There's a Western family right there. Hello, hello. And, uh, See a lot of those saw links, the motorcycles with sidecars. So, I mean, they just go slow, you know, in the traffic. There's a lot of them around here. So it's just a slower lifestyle and uh, a lot more, I think, high quality restaurants, high quality hotels, condos, uh, villages, right? But again, it's, it's more for the retirement people because retirement people, don't, I mean, you, you know, you gotta 40 minute drive from down here into Rayong City, right? So retirement people aren't going to Rayong City and go to the malls and do all the city stuff. They're definitely not going to Pattaya and doing any of the red light stuff. They don't even want to be around that stuff, you know. But they do like their festivals, they like their nightlife as far as the really nice restaurants that are gonna have like bands and, you know, there are a, a lot of those kind of places out here, but they're more just family oriented, right? But anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to highlight today about this area of Eastern Rayong. What do you find? Okay. Pupasa and great, die my. Huh? Pupasa and great, die my. Madai. Madai, you can say hello, how are you? Huh? Okay. Yindi ti dai, Rujakun. Nice to meet you. Mi kwam suk, my. Tini, mi kwam suk. Mmm, hot swan son suai ma, chai mai. Yeah, beautiful area. You ban tini? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. You live in here. All right, guys, Nam Yun's going to take a moment to go through and do all of her stuff. So oftentimes, I'll just let her spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes in here going to the different stations and put place in her incense and let her experience. She, we've never been here before to this temple, so I'll let her do that. And we'll go ahead and take the rest of the tour. Like I say, I'm not, try, I'm not trying to make a temple video today, just trying to make an eastern Rayong province. But obviously, if we go upstairs here, we'll be able to show you some amazing views of the area. So 
You guys know I don't mess around with drone footage or any of that stuff. If you stay on the ground, keep it real, the same experience you're gonna have. I don't think you're gonna be flying up there in the air and looking at stuff, right? So I could have a drone if I wanted, but I don't. I like you to just, you know, walk in my shoes and experience it how it would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the stairs and we'll get the view and then you um, know come up. But yeah, I guarantee you the two temples that we've stopped at today have big events, right? Big night markets. Uh, and then there's all kinds of villages in between the two temples. This temple and the first stop are like five minutes apart. So, and it's all down here in Eastern Rayong uh, near Hot Swan Son and Hot May Pim. So you got Swan Son Beach and May Pim Beach, right? It's, it's a really, really nice area. And I would call it like high end. It, pretty much everything's high end. You don't see too many run down old buildings or anything like that, right? Everything is really, really nice. And uh, it would take you, if you lived here, it would take you a long time just to discover all the restaurants and stuff. I mean, there's tons of stuff. So it's not like country living. It's just rural, quiet, small beach roads, well-maintained, uh, but plenty of stuff to see and do, plenty. All right, let's go up. Well, we're getting our exercise in and uh, it's right at 11 a.m. We haven't eaten breakfast. We did do a little donut, where they sell donuts on the side of the road on our way over here. But yeah, working up a sweat, trying to get up these steps as quick as I can. Let's go, let's go. Well, there you go, guys. There's a nice sea view from the top of the temple here. What's the name of the temple, babe? Uh, Pong Sawai. Pong just beautiful area, guys. So this is Hot Swan Son Beach, May Pim Beach over here. Okay, big long beach area, beautiful beaches. We're gonna go to a beach restaurant and have something to eat, show you around a little bit more. Absolutely gorgeous. Nam Yen went to see the monk. Got her a little blessings. So we are definitely looking at potential house purchase down in this area. It's like about the same distance from Rayong City that we are now in Banchang. Banchang, we're on the far west side, right? Near the Chonburi border. Here, you're on the far east side, near the Chantaburi border. So it's about, it would be about the same distance for us to go to Rayong City. And we don't go to the city that much, but uh, yes, yeah, nice beach communities out here. Plenty of shopping, plenty of restaurants and everything really well taken care of. So yeah, you can take one of these on your way down. Mm. Baby, you got, you take one? Okay, here, yeah, you can go all the way down. Ring the bells all the way down. <laughs> all right, guys. We just stopped at this place right here. Three Trees Beach Restaurant. Beautiful area. Have pizza too? Wow. A beautiful, long, clean beach. Amazing. But just look at the clean sand. You got all these beach chairs where you can lounge out. Big shaded dining area over there. Okay, I'll take a pineapple smoothie. Really nice vibe here, guys. We're here right at noon, so. Look how long that beach is. And there's a lot of Westerners. There's a big Western family sitting over here too. So a lot of Westerners out here in Eastern Rayong province. Nice, nice beaches. We'll take a little beach walk here in a minute after we get some drink in us. Yummy, look at that papaya salad with shrimp and cashew nuts. Ooh, some tum thai. Still waiting on Yin's food. These smoothies are great. This pineapple, truly amazing. Your watermelon smoothie good too, huh? Guys, I'm impressed with all the different restaurants that are real similar to this one. It's hard to choose one. You know, you look on the Google map ratings and they're all, you know, four, four and a half star rated, but you can't always go by that. But so many choices. If you lived out here in this area, it'd take you forever <laughs> to eat at all these restaurants. So it's a cool place. A lot of Scandinavians out here in Eastern Rayong. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool.
Beautiful sea breeze today. So yeah, that's Cosumet way out there, baby. That's Bonpei. Bonpei over there in the distance. There's Cosumet. There's some small islands here. And then if you go on further eastward, you run into May Pim Beach. There's a lot of nice hotels there. We stayed at Sintara. Sintara Hotel and Resort, our first trip to Rayong when we lived way up in Isan. We took the bus to Rayong City and got a private driver. And, well, we stayed like three days at Sintara, something like that. But it was on May Pim Beach, but the beaches are just so clean and pristine, easy to walk, long, long beaches. So this is a kind of retirement lifestyle down here in Eastern Rayong. If you, if you don't need the red light zone, you don't need the big city close by, it's a, it's a dream. Ooh, wow. Some tum thai. There's my fried fish. What's that? Oh, don't, don't have, okay, yeah. Okay, what she had to do. I like how they fry the fish filleted and then throw it on top of the, the whole carcass. It really makes it easier to eat, yeah, chunks of. That's the garlic, garlic fried sea bass. And then Yin's papaya salad is the Isan style with the crab and the stinky sauce. I just like the Thai style. Anyway, guys, a lot of cool vibes down here. Like I say, there are a lot of Westerns. I think mostly Scandinavian, uh, more than, you know, American, Canadian kind of thing down here. A lot of Scandinavians in this area, but uh, what a different lifestyle it would be in Eastern Rayong versus Western Rayong on the border of Chonburi a lot different <laughs> some big old shrimps in that sumtum man that's nice big old shrimp i like to get a little papaya salad on my fish there too that's the garlic garlic fried so it doesn't come with the uh mango salsa because it's all breaded with garlic but it goes good with that sometimes mm. oh yeah Tell me that doesn't look delicious, huh? Big old shrimp, papaya salad, spicy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Guys, this food is so good. Ooh, there's the last one. And got some pork. Ooh, that looks like some good roasted pork. To try that. Man, this fish is amazing. Some tongue. You see the difference is some tongue Thai. Doesn't have any crab or stinky sauce. And then there's the sometime Isan with the crabs and the stinky sauce. Big difference between the two. I love this, love this style, but I'm not a big fan of that. But Nam Yin loves that. Good pork. Looks like good pork. Mm. Oh yeah. What a beautiful area. Well, guys, we just had an excellent meal. Yin's in there paying the bill right now. See a lot of mixed Westerners with Thai ladies and families, right? Children. And then you see a lot of uh, Western white skin Farong together, right? With no Thai, but definitely a lot different vibe down here in Eastern Rayong. The beaches are long and we're at low tide right now. So you got a little bit of debris, but not much. I mean, these beaches are nice, guys. So Bon Pei, the city of Bon Pei, where you take the boat to go to the island, is on to the west, going towards Rayong City. And there are some other islands out here, Koh Kut, and smaller islands, another one out there. Those are the kind of islands you take a boat to for the day, right? It's just a really nice area, guys. Really nice beaches, the water's nice. Sea breeze is nice. And then on down that way is May Pim Beach, which is another long stretch of beaches. Okay. Beautiful. And even with the strong surf, the water's clear, guys. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot, man. 
really nice. And of course, there's not a whole lot of shade trees right here on this section of beach, but when you get into the uh, free to use areas, like the public areas, there's a lot of those evergreens, hence the name Suan Song, Evergreen Beach. So we're gonna go up and take a drive through that area and show you kind of the just the open to the public without the restaurants and hotels and vendors. But when you get down here, all the restaurants and the hotels, right? Beach resorts, this is the kind of wide open beach you got and then all of your shade is up around the trees and the umbrellas and stuff, right? Very nice guys, really, really nice. This is a Sunday, pretty busy weekend in Thailand. Uh, school's out, so a lot of people are traveling, but the beaches are so long here in so many different restaurants to stop at that doesn't feel crowded at all. Well, they've had, they've had good customers the whole time we've been here though. They've had a, a lot of good, good customers. So, you know, you could do good on your business down here too, because there's a lot of Westerners with money and there's a lot of high-end uh, retirement kind of couples and families, right? So pretty cool, I like it. Let's go check out some more. Really appreciate you guys sticking with the video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you've learned more about Rayong province, especially the Eastern region that we showed you today. There's a lot of videos on the channel of our area of Ban Chang district in the West. So if you're new to the channel, you can find all kinds of content showing you a lot of aspects of Ban Chang. We love Ban Chang. It's been a great area to live, but when you get ready to buy a home, you need to really do your homework. I can live anywhere in Thailand I want to. We've been to pretty much every region except the far north in Chiang Mai because we're not interested in living up there. Lived up in Isan a couple years. I really enjoy Isan where my wife is from, but I do not want to live there. My wife owns a big track of land up there, about four rye with a home on it. So she's got her name on that title up there. But, you know, we're not really interested in living in the northeast of Isan. We want to be down here by the coast. Uh, I'm from the Midwest, Kansas City originally, and I've always had a dream of retirement near the beach. I don't need to be right on the beach, but you know, a, a few miles away is kind of nice, right? And so this area right here that we're in now, we're on our way back home to Ban Chang. This is the public area I told you I'd take you through. This is called Suan Son. Suan Son Beach, and uh, that just means evergreen beach. So you can see there are resorts and restaurants all on the right side of the beach road, but on the left side, it's pretty much just your small vendors, your small restaurants with some tables and chairs and umbrellas here and there, these little, you know, small shack kind of restaurants, but it's low budget. Uh, there's a lot of big free zones out here, right? So... This is a Sunday that everything was recorded on the same day. It wasn't a holiday, but the kids just got out of school for summer break here in Thailand. So I want to give you a comparison to the eastern region where we were at at the Three Tree Beach Restaurant. You saw how wide open that beach was, not crowded at all. So those are the kind of areas that you go to, you know, to relax and have a cocktail or have food and swim or whatever, right? It's not a free area. You got to sit there and at least order some beer from that particular restaurant in order to access those beaches. Down here, you don't need to do anything. You can bring your own hammocks. You can bring your own beach mats. And today is really, really crowded. I was surprised at how bad the traffic is. This is a long beach road headed west towards Bon Pei. So the little city of Bon Pei is where we're going to end the video that's where the big pier is at, where you go to the island of Koh Samet. Koh Samet is the number one tourist attraction of all of Rayong province, okay? So you get the big tour buses. You got the Chinese, the Japanese, the international tourists from all over the world. They come down to the city of Ban Pei and take the trips out to the island. Lots of resorts out there on the island. We've never stayed out there. We live near the beach, so we like going exploring things on the mainland. And, and uh, the thing about Koh Samet, you got to take the ferry from the pier, and then you got to rent a motorcycle when you get over there. We will take you to, down to Koh Chang, down in the far reaches of eastern Thailand, right? It's the last province called Trat. 
So we will take you down there at some point. You can drive your vehicle on the ferry to go to Colchon. All right, so stay tuned to the channel for some more travel stuff. This is kind of killing two birds with one stone. This is just a day trip. We didn't stay the night. But not only visiting areas of Eastern Rayon that we have not seen, but also doing our research about, like I said, potential purchases of property. I've rented in Thailand for nine years, and I think that's great for me personally because I've still got my options open. You can hire these movers with big trucks, and it's not expensive. So we are definitely going to sharpen our pencils and do some good price comparisons we might buy in Bonchong. We might buy in Eastern Rayong. You just never know. So welcome to Bon Pei. We don't want to live in this area because, like I say, it's a big tourist area. I'm going to let Nam Yin sign it out here, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Click the all button. Get notified. Peace and love to everyone. Triple T signing out.